Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be a part of this conference. Today, uh, I'm going to be presenting about North Korean nuclear issue in comparison with uh, the current Iran uh, nuclear deal. Uh, Iran and six world powers reached a deal to limit Iran's uh, uh, to limit uh, Iran's nuclear program uh, for the next 15 years. But uh, while the international community uh, devoted its uh, attention to Iran, uh, North Korea's nuclear program has gained a lot of uh, momentum, uh, but not much has been done uh, to stop it. So there's an argument that the Iranian deal uh, could be a part positive influence on North Korea. However, uh, there is a significant differences in Iranian and North Korean cases uh, in uh, regime type and domestic political and economic uh, systems, and also the goal and the frameworks of negotiations. So uh, Iranian case has a limit to uh, serve as a model for North Korean case. Uh, but uh, notwithstanding these differences, I think analyzing some uh, key factors of uh, Iran nuclear deal uh, could help to shed a light on how to deal with uh, North Korean nuclear issue. So uh, I'm going to address some key factors like international non proliferation regime and level of coordination and sanctions and incentives. And based on uh, this comparative analysis, uh, some recommendations will be made at the end of my presentation. So first of all, uh, I'd like to highlight that Iran has remained within the international non proliferation regime as a state party to NPT and as a member state of the IAEA. But uh, on the other hand, when it comes to North Korea, uh, when uh, the IAEA uh, ad hoc inspection about the North Korea's initial report to the IAEA uh, uh, found out the discrepancies in 1993, uh, DPRK was pushed so hard, so uh, North Korea decided to withdraw the IA membership in 1994. And in 2003, uh, when the U.S. informed that uh, the North Korea uh, had developed a uranium, uh, uranium enrichment program, uh, it decided to halt the oil shipment to North Korea. So. Pyongyang decided to also withdraw from the NPT in 2003. So after three years uh, being outside of it, the international non proliferation regime and non constrained by international non proliferation norms, uh, Pyongyang conducted its first nuclear test in 2006. And when it comes to level of coordination, uh, the permanent members of United Nations Security Council and plus Germany participated in the negotiation uh, with Iran. So they perceived a collective interest in uh, preventing uh, Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. So with this clear goal and uh, united uh, will, uh, they could engage in an active manner. But however, uh, when it comes to North Korea, uh, this issue was dealt at first by uh, the agreed framework uh, between the U.S. and the DPRK alone, and other nations did not invest in uh, its their uh, enforcement. And the Six Party Talks was established in 2003. Although South Korea, China, Russia, and Japan uh, joined the joined the negotiation. Uh, each uh, participants had their own national interests. Uh, for example, China uh, was interested in uh, the North Korea's stability, and also Japan was busy with the abduction issue with North Korea. So due to this different uh, uh, projection of their national interests, the core issue was not, uh, the core issue was neglected uh, for years. So for example, in fact, uh, the Six Party Talks was designed to uh, counteract uh, North Korea's uranium enrichment program. But in fact, uh, it did not tackle it much. So in 2010, North Korea unveiled its uh, uranium enrichment plant, uh, which equipped about 2,000 gas centrifuges to enrich uranium. 
And let me move on to sanctions and incentives. Uh, actually, uh, Iran uh, has a civil society where uh, voting system functions, uh, even though it does at a limited level. So uh, when uh, the sanctions became severe, uh, Iran had difficulties in uh, selling its crude oil. Uh, so these uh, sanctions has hurt Iranian economy. So in particular, the impact on the middle class uh, generated a kind of a social pressure which led to an election of a moderate president uh, <coughs> so who is leading the negotiation now. So, but uh, when it comes to North Korea, uh, its authority has made the uh, sanctions less effective. And also, it is a tightly controlled society, so it's unlikely that uh, citizens uh, press their interests uh, through politics. Uh, and also, what brought Iran to the negotiation table was the economic issue. But North, Korea, North Korea's uh, primary concern is security issue related to its regime survival. So the asymmetry in conventional forces uh, compared to its neighbors uh, made North Korean leaders consider the nuclear weapon as the best possible means to deter uh, potential uh, coercion or aggression against Pyongyang. And also at the domestic level, uh, fostering a sense of crisis with the outside world uh, could uh, rally the domestic opinion in order to bolster uh, the authority at home. So maybe uh, for North Korea, the near, uh, the near total isolation could be a uh, important part of their uh, regime survival. So considering these facts, the improvement of domestic economics or the ending the international isolation are unlikely to be incentives for North Korea. So I've mentioned the several key factors, uh, and now uh, I'd like to uh, make some such uh, recommendations in order to uh, resuscitate uh, the stalled uh, nuclear talk with Iran. So first of all, I'd like to highlight that uh, the North Korean nuclear issue is not a regional concern anymore. Uh, it uh, left uh, unprecedented bad precedent by withdrawing from the NPT. And it is a serious uh, threat to global security by undermining the international non-proliferation regime. Also, while the international uh, community uh, leaves the situation as it is, the Nor North Korea uh, has gained, uh, has, has grown uh, the size and the uh, sophistication of its nuclear program. So for example, it is believed that today North Korea has up to 16 nuclear weapons and uh, could build as many as uh, 100 by 2020. And also, recently uh, North Korea uh, claimed that it uh, has developed the technology uh, to miniaturize a nuclear device uh, small enough to mount to its uh, intercontinental ballistic missile. And also, there is a potential risk of uh, technology and material transfer to would-be uh, proliferators around the world, uh, which could provoke not only non-proliferation, but also nuclear security concerns. And uh, the past uh, negotiation frameworks were designed to tackle a non-proliferation issue, but now it has become the denuclearization issue. So, a new uh, negotiation framework is needed. So uh, considering the importance of the international non-proliferation regime, the best uh, scenario would be that North Korea returns to the NPT as a non-nuclear weapon state, uh, which is highly unlikely at the moment. So as an alternative, uh, I think the negotiation framework should be multilateral and uh, a participant of this negotiation should cooperate with each other to set a uh, clear and unified goal uh, by coordinating their different interests. Uh, so to this end, I think participation of the European Union could uh, contribute significantly uh, to making progress uh, by creating a new momentum uh, with uh, enhanced diplomacy. And 
as your conclusion, uh, I'd like to suggest a new possible approach. So far, uh, to resolve the North Korean nuclear issue has been focused on disabling North Korea's nuclear program and its facilities. But United States has said that North Korea's commitment to denuclearization is the starting point for any discussion between uh, two sides, but North Korea uh, demand that the U.S. recognize it as nuclear power. So it seems that there's no middle ground between two sides. And, over, and moreover, uh, given that uh, North Korea's proliferation drivers derives from the, its security concern, uh, uh, it is unlikely that uh, North Korea uh, would relinquish its nuclear weapon as long as it perceives uh, external threat from its, uh, its antagonists. So, under these circumstances, I think it's time to uh, seek a little bit different way of approach. So, in other words, giving more uh, priority to uh, reunification rather than denuclearization. So, in other words, the potential cannot be underestimated that uh, the reunification could be an ultimate way uh, to materialize the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula in the long run. And although this change in approach would uh, cost much time and more energy, but it could be a uh, remedy to tackle the core of a problem. Uh, thank you for your attention.